Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is July 14th of 2018. It's uh, Saturday. <clears throat> in about an hour, it's going to be Sunday. This is just going to be a general blog, and I have no idea. I, I have a little bit of an idea. I'm going to few thing, a few things that I'm going to mention, but uh, I'm sure I'm going to be rambling on... All, who knows where. So, uh, want to update you <clears throat> on my medical condition. I was in the hospital for six days. I left AMA against medical advice. I think you're I'm not going to go into detail on that. I, uh, but when I left AMA, the hospital just washed their hands of me. No information, no paperwork, uh, not even telling me what medication that I was taking and I am taking now for my badly infected leg. Uh, <clears throat> but I did get in to see, well, first I want to mention again, and I did mention this, uh, the pharmacy that uh, we use is uh, Walgreens. And that first day, because I didn't even know the name of the medication that I, they started me out, of course, that powerful uh, IV antibiotic. Then they went to uh, a pill form, oral form, so they could, you know, so I could continue it at home. And, uh, but I didn't even know the name of it. And I needed to, I needed a seven or ten day supply at home. And the hospital, you leave AMA. And, uh, I, like I said, we use, uh, Walgreen and the pharmacist who happens to I a female pharmacist down there she worked all day and she had of course the people there with her working all day trying to find out <clears throat> what medication I should be taking the name of it and <clears throat> where they could get the you know the they were trying to get the hospital doctor who uh, had prescribed it to and at the end of the, anyway, the pharmacist there and the staff at Walgreens here in Fort Worth were just doing, I mean, way beyond their call of duty. And then at the end of the day, daytime, uh, before the pharmacist was going, you know, getting ready to go home, the pharmacist, uh, you know, uh, called up, uh, called me up and said that she was so sorry and she'd been trying to do everything she and I and uh, I knew what she had been trying to do and I you know I thanked her I said oh you've done more than you know you've gone beyond the you know the limits of uh, I said thank you so much and she started crying um, so I just want to say again I'm not going to single put her out I'm not going to I did single I did mention I believe I think I removed the video. I did mention uh, anyway, but there are a lot of good people out there in the world, um, and luckily I have a pharmacy that has good people there. Uh, finally, I <clears throat> went to my doctor's office. You know, my personal doctor or the what do you want to call them, the internist or the doctor that takes care of me all the time. And uh, they uh, wrote the prescription for the medication that uh, I need. Let me see. Lenzolid, I guess. L I N E C O L I D, 600 milligrams. So it, it took me about a you know a day and a half to get the. Uh, also, there's uh, 20 pills, and the cost of the prescription is three thousand five hundred dollars. I have health insurance. I have Medicare. And I have a Medicare Advantage plan, and I 
paid three dollars and twenty cents for it. Um, uh, lucky, uh, luckier than a lot of Americans. If you're overseas in Europe or uh, you know someplace, you don't understand what the but you may know a little bit about the United States' health care plan. I'm not sure we have a health care plan, but luckily I have Medicare and uh, I happen to have an Advantage plan also. You, you have a choice. You can take Medicare or you can use that Medicare premium or whatever to uh, get a another health care plan and uh, they're required to cover at least everything that you're you would get under Medicare so they can't and then they can throw in some extra things in order to get you to uh, take the plan or something but an awful lot of Americans who are not who don't have health care insurance and there's a ton of them three thousand you know three thousand five hundred dollars for 20 pills uh, they wouldn't be able to get it. I'm sure what would happen is uh, the doctor would have to, you know, write the prescription for something that's uh, not as effective, and uh, you'd be taking a, you know, a risk. This infection that I had is really, you know, I've still got it. Really, you know, being treated for it is really bad, and uh, so the. Also, for people outside the United States, in the United States, the right wing, the Republican Party, they consider Social Security and Medicare to be, they've been sold a bill of goods, and I guess they're just too stupid to understand it. Uh, they're convinced, basically, they've been so hammered with talk of uh, from the right wing Republicans or whatever, they think that uh, Medicare and uh, Social Security are uh, like welfare, and they're not. I've worked in my entire life, never was without a job, and often I had two jobs, and out of my paycheck, every one of my paychecks, X amount of money went for Social Security retirement. And from the company, whoever I worked for, they paid the same amount, the same percentage into the fund. And it's the same with uh, Medicare, the insurance program, when you get to be 65. <clears throat> Out of my paycheck, I forget what percent went, you know, into the government funding. And uh, my employer put the same amount in. So their, <clears throat> their entitlements, it's the same as if you had bought private insurance, you know, private insurance. But we have a ton of very stupid people here in the United States that do not understand. I don't understand how you can't understand, how they can't understand that concept, but they don't, it's just they've been brainwashed so much by, but Luckily, I could afford it, but there are tons of people in the United States who cannot. Uh, and then, too, the Republicans in the right wing will say, uh, I guess this is going to be a political thing, so if you don't want to hear anything about politics, and I don't blame you, I really don't want to hear anything about politics. And by the way, I know 100%, I've known it for a long time, nobody, you're not going to change your opinion. If you... A differ from me politically or whatever, nothing I'm going to say, no matter how, how articulate I might be, no matter if I gave you links to all, it's not going to matter. If you know, if you're in that right wing category or whatever, you're not going to change your opinion. I found that out before the World Wide Web even existed when I had a computer bulletin board system. I presented both sides of issues. There would be, you know, Gun, on gun control. There'd be a, you know, we're discussing gun control. There would be pro-gun thing explaining, you know, the and the uh, people who wanted gun control. And 
They're the same with uh, abortion and whatever. And never, nobody ever, one, not one person ever changed their point of view. The only thing we had a discussion about the best hamburgers. Now there are a few people who did change their, you know, because I remember we didn't have White Castles and people were saying in other places, White Castles and then some people, you know, said, way I, you know, I did try it or whatever. And so a few people on that issue, I don't remember exactly, <clears throat> but they did. But so I'm not saying anything here, trying to convince you. I'm just telling you like I see it. Um, Anyway, um, I got into 99.3. Don't think you can see it on the camera. I got in to see my uh, doctor, and they got me the medication. They got me on the. They got the prescription called in, and uh, they've hooked me up with a. Uh, God, I can't. The doctor that takes care of prostate, so I can't, I forget, I can't remember that thing. I should. Uh, so I'll be going August seventh, or, and I'm, for that. Anyway, I, I had to go. Let me jump back. I saw my doctor. They got the, and they had me come back the next day for lab work. So in, a few days, I'll be going back to the office. And they'll have the lab work and everything. Um, well, even at the hospital, the lab work that is done, everything shows up on uh, my doctor's site and on the hospital site. And uh, uh, I've had several people asking me about the kidney thing, and I really don't know anything about it. And I haven't seen a kidney doctor. And but. Uh, so I, I just pulled this up a while ago, and then I saw this uh, here, and I think that's the one I saw, and I, I forgot what it was. I did a search on it, and it's uh, I think that's the one that was gallstones. I forgot that I had gallstones because they really haven't caused me. I mean, I, I think sometimes if I eat maybe really greasy food, or if I eat too much or something, I get a pain there, but I, I uh, ignore it. Um, but anyway, this is on the screen. I had several people leave a comment. Uh, what is your reading for such and such? I don't know. Um, in a day or two, the lab results at the doctor's office will pop up, and I'll probably be doing a video, and I'll pop up, and you can look at the. I'll put it on the screen like this, and if you know anything about, you can look through it, and you, you'll be able to see what the reading was. And what is this, the range, you know? And then it'll say probably at the side if something, you know. It'll say I'm, I don't. It won't say warning. I forget. It'll say so that you're alerted to it. So. Uh, so I see my uh, doctor about my prostate and my that kind of problems on the seventh, and of course, it, you know, I have to consult with him and then I'm going to go ahead and have the procedure done that they're probably going to want to do and that's where they well I have to talk to him to see but I, th I think the procedure is that you I would go to I go to the hospital so I'd go to the hospital and they would sedate me and put a catheter in me. Thank God I would be sedated. And through the catheter, they send a camera, and they send snipping tools. And in the in the operation, they go up and take a piece out of the prostate, so that uh, it's not pressing against the uh, uh, urethra. I'm saying that wrong. Uh, so that I could urinate properly. And then I would wake up from the operation and I would have a catheter in me and then probably, I'm guessing, I'm, I'm guessing I'll find out, 
uh, and I, I'm guessing probably the next morning or something, they would take the catheter out, and if everything's okay, I would go home. And I might have a much, much better life. I should have had this done a long time ago. I didn't for various reasons. Um, this is a uh, code, I'm not sure if it showed up there, it said uh, code 10. I think that's just a billing code. So right now I really don't, you know, I think I showed, when I showed it, I don't think it showed that I have kidney failure exactly. Anyway, I'll find out uh, at some point. Also, the uh, doctor's office is setting me up with, I think they kind of messed up, I think I should have had it by now, wound management, and I'll be going to the uh, same hospital that I got. The uh, My heart doctor and my urologist, I finally it came to me. I need to have it tattooed on my hand. Uh, the urologist that I'm going to have, they're both in the building that's attached to the hospital that I left AMA. Uh, and they're going to send me to an office down there someplace in the hospital or connected to the hospital that is wound care and tell me what I need to do to take care of the wound and especially what's going to be important. They're going to be looking at it and monitoring it, measuring it and everything else. Uh, there again, because I left AMA, I didn't get any wound care. I don't know if it was, I've taken a couple of showers and I've just uh, let the water, let the water happen, you know, and the soap, and I don't know. But so they're going to send me to wound care, and I think that's really because uh, they'll be able to measure it to make it and watch and really watch it or whatever. Uh, which I, when I was in the hospital, I told some nurses and I told, I told the doctor or whatever. And I'm going to repeat to you, I'm, I've got my oldest daughter and her husband are vacant. And if you remember, in fact, you can uh, watch some video I have here of, I went to Washington, D.C. for two weeks and stayed with them. And every other day we went out and walked around Washington, D.C. for about, it worked out about for about three hours. Then it was a little difficult for me then to get around, but I, I just put, you know, put the effort into, I couldn't do it now. Uh, but I walked for about three hours every other day and I ate vacant food. My daughter and her husband helped. They get in the kitchen. I was in there visiting with them. And they work together as a team and they make the food. And uh, Some of the food was, I'd say, 65% of the food was, you know, was good. And uh, one time we ordered in pizza and they got the kind of pizza they wanted or, and I got the kind of pizza I wanted. Um, then they had to take me to the famous uh, place there in Washington, D.C. that they, uh, what's the name of it? I forgot. They did have a great, great chili, uh, chili dog. And I had a chili dog. They didn't have a chili dog. They had something else. Um, and then uh, once I did go out and just, because they, at that point, they were living just a, a block from a, some fast food place, and I went up there and had it. It was delicious, you know. But, okay, I'm spoiling the whole thing. I was there for two weeks. I, oh, by the way, when I was there, they said, there is this... Uh, restaurant that only serves vegetarian food. Uh, you can't get a hamburger, you can't get, you know, any of that stuff. And they said, it is delicious. And I said, well, I'll try it. You know, so we went up there and they ordered their regular thing. And I ordered like a sampler thing. And it was so I was getting a little sample of everything. And then they were taking some of my sample, you know, and because they'd never tried, you know, tried that. It was excellent. That was the best food I've ever had. So you can make 
good, you know, vegetarian food. But in the past, my, uh, you know, for years ago, my daughter and son-in-law had, you know, visited or something and brought vegetarian hamburgers or vegetarian hot dog. Oh. Yeah, that, no, that doesn't work. And I think they agree now that that was, nope, <laughs> that doesn't work. But any, oh, anyway, so I was there two weeks. I came back. You've never seen my feet, by the way. For years, my legs are swollen. My feet are swollen, especially the left, deformed. And I lost weight for those two weeks in Washington, D.C. And I came back and both my feet were normal looking. So, I'm 77 years old. It's, I'm not going to say it's, I'm, I'm going to try to, I'm trying now to, well, I have to, trying to eat better now. And uh, I close your eyes, by the way, everybody. Okay, you can open your eyes. Uh, I'm drinking V8 juice. I'm, uh, drinking grapefruit juice, I'm doing all kinds of things, and I've uh, cut way down on coke because I can't, because with the medicine I'm taking, oh, it's terrible. But there are some things, when I was in the hospital for the six days, I couldn't eat for six days. Uh, now that I'm home, I've discovered uh, I've been able to figure. I've been able to figure out a little bit of like orange juice tastes great, and it tastes okay. Um, there's cranberry juice. There's uh, grapefruit juice and things that you know. Coke. It, yuck. Um, I guess it'd be a good thing if my, if the taste buds never come back. But uh, I found too that, like when I was in the hospital, because of the medication that I'm taking, it's powerful. I couldn't, I couldn't stand to even look at any food, and I didn't eat any food. I mean, maybe a couple of bites. You may have seen my video. You may have seen me there where there was a couple of bites taken out of something. Um, but. Um, being home, I've been able to figure out. Uh, Hillary, my daughter, just brought me uh, a tuna sandwich, and she put olives in it, chopped up and stuff like that. It tasted great, and she had some cut up uh, tomatoes or whatever, and I was able to, so I can kill that in the hospital for uh, six days. I didn't have anything to eat. And I was sick, nauseated all the time. Now at least I can kill that nauseating feeling for a little while. And that makes a difference. And I'm able to eat. And uh, so far I've checked my, uh, after drinking uh, tomato juice or V8 and all that kind of stuff, and grapefruit juice and orange juice, a lot of orange juice. I think I drank too much orange juice. Uh, I was worried about my uh, glucose levels, and uh, it was okay. And uh, my temperature is running 99. It's it's okay. My blood pressure is running. It's running okay. In the hospital, my blood pressure was way too high. Uh, my glucose level was too high, really. Well, it wasn't that high. But uh, at home, I can just do better. The only problem is, and I have to go Thursday to my regular doctor. I have to run to the restroom all the time. And so it's going to be, can I make it to the doctor's office? 
without pissing my pants. And if I make it there, can I make it home okay without pissing my pants? And then when I see the uh, other doctors and they, uh, you know, that's here, my restroom is right there, and I just barely make it. Uh, I still haven't replaced the bed frame. It's going to cost me about, I think, $60. The, Fred, the bed frame is what did me in. I, it's a bed frame that sticks out on both ends because it was designed, I think, to have a bed, a headboard and a footboard or something or other. And the metal sticks out and it's kind of sharp. And I was always kind of banging myself, up, especially if I had to get to the restroom in every hurry. And uh, that's what scraped my leg. And that's what caused, you know, the infection. So I'm going to replace that from, uh, I ordered one in the past, a bed frame for my son that, that, because uh, he needed one, he just had his mattress on the floor. And uh, so that, the one I'll be ordering in will, will take care of that. By the way, Amazon Prime is uh, coming up. I won't have any money to do anything with it, but uh, it, I think it actually is going on now. See, Amazon, the 16th, I believe, is uh, when, but they, I think they're having specials now. Amazon. Prime. Two days away. Uh, the, uh, they're, the thing they bought, uh, whatever. We ordered Coke, and I hope I won't be ordering Coke anymore, but but not from this fresh store. store. Um, Prime Fresh is what they call it. We haven't ordered yet. They've got... Uh, they have specials now. I think they're expensive, though. Know? But they've got some uh, they have some different stuff. So I'm not sure if we will actually order. We don't have to Hillary will you know. And uh Hillary can go to the store for us, or one of us can go with her, and uh, we may try them, because you get some discounts to start, you know, to start with. Uh, wish list. I don't like uh, laptops and all that type of stuff, but the Samsung, uh, no, that's not, I'm thinking about now the new, and I don't have it on here. Microsoft is coming out with, going to be, I think, shipping August 1st. They're coming out with a 10 inch uh, tablet but you can purchase it and uh, 10 inches you can you have, you have to add it's extra $100 extra to get the uh, stylus and I may go with that because if if you're watching my videos also from uh, from the hospital I had a heck of a time not, I had a heck of a time uh, trying to make up my fingers get in and, and I know I know the rest of you you manage because I see fantastic videos my oldest daughter makes fantastic videos and pictures with her cell phone I'm just I just can't do it so I'm thinking about that uh, Windows uh, 
Go, whatever it's called. About $550. You can get, I think you might get one for a little bit less. But with the memory and whatever, about 550 So I hope before long to get it. I don't want to be in the hospital again, but if I am, well, not if. I'll either be in the hospital or in hospice care. And uh, I'd like to have something like that. Also, something I want to get is, uh, I guess I'm a lazy, but I want to get a small refrigerator for my room so I can keep some drinks in there cold and not have to go into the other room. Here's that uh, bed frame that I uh, told you about. Price dropped 6%. I should go ahead and order that today. I wonder if I ordered it today. I'd get it by Wednesday. I sure do not want to hit my foot again on that thing. I think I'll probably go ahead and order it today. Um, I was looking to see, no. Anyway, I'm not going to buy all of this stuff, but, well, I don't have to buy this. Hillary bought me a, when I came from the hospital, there was a blanket here. Okay, I don't have to buy that. So, um... Okay, I'm going to have to end this. Uh, did I show everything I wanted to show? I have to end this because I need to get to the restroom. Uh, emergency code three.